think that my role is basically to just be consistent and be a solid leader. And my goal going into games is just always to play like my absolute best and walking off the court, making sure that I absolutely left everything out on the court. And I, I take a lot of pride personally in walking off knowing that like I put up numbers all the way across the sheet. You know, like to me points really, they really don't matter to me. Like if I got, you know, almost as many rebounds as a post did or if I passed more assists or made like some cool passes that day, like that's honestly what I walk off the court with like a big smile on my face, like knowing that I can do that. And I take a lot of pride in that. So I think my role is just to overall play really consistent, um, take smart shots, make good passes when they're there, and of course crash the boards, <laughs> which is always something too that you can, those are things that can always be better, you know. It's like you have off shooting nights, you have on shooting nights, some nights I'll score maybe 20, some nights I'll score less than double digits, and it's just about trying to be consistent in other places and stuff in my opinion, especially for me at least. I can't say what people think, but I do feel like a lot of people go in like, I have to score tonight, I have to, you know, get this or do this. And for me, it's like, if I tell myself I'm going to get 20 points, I probably won't do it. You know what I mean? If I just go in and play and have fun and do the things I know how to do, like make cool passes, I'll end up with like nine assists like I did the other night and I don't even realize it. It's just that I'm having fun doing it and it's like, that's just how it goes. That's it works for me. <laughs> Going in the locker room after the Aziza game was, it was a tough one and it's easy for teams, like I'm sure people have heard from like Coach L's interview for example, or I, I just, I haven't even heard it but I know she said it, like it's easy to get to the top but it's hard to stay at the top. And so like for us it's like you can easily just cave in and like everyone can start getting down with each other but it takes like a championship team to pick each other up and just say like, let's move forward, move past this. Cause it didn't kill us. It wasn't do or die, you know what I mean? And so we learned from that game and moving forward, I, I think we just have to fix our weaknesses and play even stronger moving on.